something that I've tried to do a little bit in my life. In fact, it's something I sort of fall back on when I maybe have less to say in conversation or I'm sort of struggling, feeling underwater in a social situation, overwhelmed. And it is somewhat cliche, but I think it rings true. If you cannot be interesting, be interested. You know, I've had a lot of conversations go on, maybe too long, uh, because I was simply willing to listen to what the person had to say and ask questions, right? If I had, if they're talking about something I know nothing about, at some point I have to simply just, I wouldn't say suffer through it, but endure it, accept that this is what it is, and further that discussion by asking some questions and nodding and affirming and being present and again, focusing on the story, the information this person is conveying. And now, of course, this can be a recipe for just being blatantly talked at or talked over or, you know, how people, I like to say they, you know what in your ear, right? They seem to just sort of be using you as a, as a bulletin board, a posting board, but that happens in this life. It seems to happen more and more. Maybe I just have that face. But remember this too, when you go home at night, Someone who is willing to just talk, talk, talk at you without ever asking anything about yourself, without ever giving you that option to, to converse, to contribute, they are no more socially adept than you. They are no more socially comfortable than you. They've just found a different way to deal with it by talking to fill the space until we can all go home. So ideally, this approach of listening and asking questions, perhaps even challenging somebody, ask them, well, why did you do that? Why did you think that? I do believe that over time, over the span of the experience, the interaction, this sort of thing endears you to other people, right? It, it brings you into their consciousness. They begin to see you as a fully formed point B, so to speak, another person that they can bounce things off of. I really do believe too that in a good conversation, let's say with somebody who is willing to have a conversation or to simply even engage in small talk, Asking questions, affirming, nodding, even challenging will eventually lead you to common ground. And this person may eventually have enough social intelligence to then ask you, well, what do you think about this? Have you ever tried something like this? I struggled to build a fence all summer, but what's maybe something you've done around your house that was a challenge? Whatever the case may be. Asking these questions and being interested is a way to sort of bring us all whether it's two or 10 people speaking to a place of common ground. So when social anxiety takes over and you find yourself receding inward into self-consciousness thinking, oh God, what am I doing here? Do I look stupid? I probably look stupid. Do I smell? Oh man, what? I have nothing. I'm, I'm in trouble here. You can fight against this self-consciousness by becoming more conscious, more interested in the world around you. Listen to what others are saying. Really think about what they're saying. Find ways to insert yourself there in that shared space. We're talking about socializing here. This is not their place. This is not his or her or their place. It's your and their place. It's a shared space where we all belong, but it is our responsibility to insert ourselves into it. And so again, it is a question of focus and distraction. Can you become less distracted by yourself and more focused on other people, on the room, on the situation, on maybe where that break is going to open up for you to jump in. And you know, truly, I think people would rather see somebody silently sitting there or standing there in a social situation and yet appearing present, upright, focusing on what's going on, even if you're nodding, laughing. Perhaps there's some sort of common thing that we're all looking at, a presentation, a book, a piece of paper, at least acting as though you are a part of this, pulling in the same direction in your own way. I think people would rather see that than have you silent and clearly off in your own world, looking down, wondering if you smell funny. This is an invitation here to come into the shared space of socializing and not to be, I would say, in fact, selfish and self-centered. You've made the commitment to showing up, it is now your job to take one more step into a space outside of yourself. 